Ubisoft has recently confirmed, committed, and doubled down to releasing Skull and Bones, Mario Plus Rabbid, Sparks of Hope, and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, all by the end of fiscal 2022. Technically, that means by the end of March 2023, and while it's not surprising that Mario plus Rabbids and Avatar will hit that goal, one couldn't blame you for feeling skeptical that Skull and Bones won't come out at all given its troubled history. Skull and Bones was announced in 2017, but was technically in development since 2013. Over the last eight plus years, the game has seen multiple delays and issues, which were extensively documented by Kotaku. As it's well known, originally Skull and Bones started out as a spin-off of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, then eventually it became its own self-contained title and IP. In 2018, it was described by Ubisoft as an open-world multiplayer game set during the golden age of piracy, but there haven't really been any substantial updates since. Well, at least not officially. Earlier this year, the Skull and Bones webpage was rebranded and added a web form inviting players to join an insider program to test the game early, but no additional details about the game are actually provided on the site. That's okay though, because uh, about two weeks ago, what people are assuming is a tutorial or introduction to the game leaked online. Now we're not using the leaked footage here for obvious reasons, but one notable detail that seems to be sticking out with those who have seen the footage is that although you can walk around on foot as a pirate captain in hub worlds and settlements, there doesn't appear to be on foot or out of ship combat. That's right, as of right now, it's believed instead of boarding other ships with a playable character, boarding encounters will be handled either by a cutscene or a mini game. The leaked tutorial shows a cutscene, but last year known leaker Tom Henderson claimed multiple sources had told him that boarding conflicts would be handled by a rock, paper, scissors like mini game. Since all of this information is from unofficial sources, it's completely possible that all of the details here are not up to date. You know, potentially player to player combat could exist in the game or could be added before launch. But right now, that doesn't seem super likely. Ubisoft confirmed that the leaked test footage was real and said to expect more updates soon, but they didn't clarify if there was on land or off ship combat in the way that players would have had if the game was still a spin off of Assassin's Creed Black Flag all those years ago. It's completely wild to kind of put it in that context. After eight plus years of development, the game has somehow regressed in some ways. And honestly, we'll have to wait to see when it comes out, you know, maybe the ship combat is just that good that people are gonna forget how cool it is to swing from one ship to another and with like a sword in their mouth or whatever. Uh, we'll see. In addition to committing to a fiscal 2022 launch for Skull and Bones, during their recent earnings call, Ubisoft co-founder and CEO Yves Guillemot commented on last month's reports around the company becoming an ever increasingly more attractive acquisition target. Specifically, he stated, as we said last February, we have everything we need to remain independent. We have the talent, the industrial and the financial scale, and a large portfolio of powerful IPs to create massive value in the coming years. It has provided us with the plan to build strategic partnership with the biggest players in entertainment and tech. However, he added, as a standard practice for a publicly listed company, Ubisoft's board would review any offer in the interest of all shareholders and their teams. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have high hopes for Skull and Bones or none at all. Let me know if you even think that Skull and Bones is coming out within the next 320 days or so. Look, I'm not gonna front. I looked that up. It's 324 days from, from now, from the time of this recording, I think. Uh, within that time, we will see the official release of Skull and Bones, according to Ubisoft. Let me know if you believe it. Thanks again for watching, and for more video game news and updates, please stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.